Aloha! Welcome to your online College of Natural Sciences orientation. This orientation was designed just for students who will be entering the College of Natural Sciences at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. Academic advisors are helpful resources when you're trying to navigate your educational journey. This module will discuss the different types of advisors within the College of Natural Sciences. To see a list of all of the advisors in the College of Natural Sciences, let's visit the Student Academic Success Center website and click on the Advisors page. This page sorts all of the advisors by major. All you need to do is find your major and click on it to expand that section and see who you're able to meet with. There are two main types of advisors, college advisors and major advisors. If we look at the astronomy and astrophysics section, for example, we can see the two types of advisors clearly labeled here. College advisors specialize in your general education and graduation requirements. They are educated in the university policies and can be helpful when life doesn't go quite as planned. They can also help to find courses to take to fulfill any missing focus requirements that you may have. Major advisors are usually specialists in your field of study. They assist you with making sure that you're taking your major courses in the correct order and can give you advice if you ever find yourself struggling in a course. They are great to talk to regarding potential careers after graduation as well as internship opportunities. Sometimes they can also be great sources of information about graduate school. Some advisors serve as both college and major advisors. Let's take a look at the BA and BS biology section for example. You'll notice that the advisors here do not have major advisor or college advisor written under their names. That's because they do both. So depending on your major, you might have one primary advisor or you may have two advisors who assist with different aspects of your degree. If you want to contact a certain advisor directly or simply learn about your advisors, you can click on an advisor's name or photo to view their bio page. This page includes an email address, a phone number, and the location of their office space. We recommend starting with email or phone if you need to get in touch with your advisor. So let's say you have a form that requires an advisor's signature. Who do you get it signed by? Your college advisor or your major advisor? The answer is, it depends. On our Student Academic Success Center website, we have a forms page under Students and Alumni, Current Students, Forms. This page lists some of the most common forms that you would need filled out and lists who you would need signatures from in order to complete that form. If your form needs a college advisor's signature, then you can bring your form to our Student Academic Success Center office to obtain a signature on a walk-in basis. There are other forms in addition to these, so if you aren't sure who to get a signature from, ask your college advisor. They can let you know if you would need a signature from them or from your major advisor. Earlier we mentioned that major advisors are great sources of advice about internships. But what if you're just curious to see what's available? We post event, internship, job, scholarship, and other important information and opportunities on our social media pages. We have a Facebook page and an Instagram page. Be sure to follow us on your preferred platform so that you don't miss out. Before we wrap up this module, there is one more very useful web page on the Student Academic Success Center website that I need to tell you about. It's called the Incoming Student Timeline. To access the timeline, we'll go to Students and Alumni, Incoming Students, Incoming Student Timeline. After doing that, you'll select whether you're a freshman or a transfer student, and whether you're starting in the fall semester or in the spring. Once you've selected your semester, you'll be transported to your accompanying timeline. This page sorts all of your major deadlines in the order that they need to be completed. You can read from the top to make sure that you've met all of your deadlines and look ahead to see what else is coming up. If you want to be really proactive, you can scroll all the way to the bottom where there's a link to the current student timeline so you can see what big dates and events are coming up in your first semester on campus. That's it for this module. Keep the Student Academic Success Center website open so that you can reference the pages to answer your mini quiz questions.